Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, for this Health Supplier segment in conversation with Mr. Jeffrey Cross. He's president of Rob Medical, and he's joining us to talk about laser radiation ablation for the treatment of vascular and skin diseases. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Jeffrey. Great to be here. Glad that you could take the time. Uh, a bit of background about yourself. Uh, you're president of Rob Medical. Are you a, a healthcare professional? Are you into uh, tech? Uh, what is your background, briefly? I spent uh, two and a half decades on Wall Street, focused mm-hmm. on healthcare, and prior mm-hmm. to that was actually at Bristol Myers Squibb and other healthcare companies. So my 30 plus year career has been focused on healthcare. Now, as president of Rob Medical, um, are you one of the founders of Rob Medical as well as president? I am not. I joined Rob Medical a little bit over three years ago. What exactly is Rob Medical involved in? Not uh, totally, but right now. Why are you on the radio today? We're on the radio today to let people know about the opportunity that Mm -hmm. we think is afforded to them by utilizing our products. One of the goals of Rob Medical is to improve the quality of life uh, of the patients that are treated, both on the dermatological side as well as on the vascular side. Are there specific skin diseases or vascular problems that are more readily addressed by your company because of uh, more people suffering from them? There actually are. And Mm -hmm. one of the things that we try to do is to focus on those diseases, obviously, where we can have the most amount of impact. Mm-hmm. And in, on, the, on the dermatological side, uh, we are able to treat vitiligo, psoriasis, eczema, and uh, help patients tremendously. Now, I understand also that there's a, a condition, um, peripheral artery disease on the uh, vascular side. What is a peripheral artery disease or, or PAD? Peripheral artery disease uh, is a disease which afflicts about 17.6 million people uh, in the United States uh, alone. And uh, peripheral arterial disease involves the, the closing of the arterial structure whereby you aren't getting adequate blood flow, so you generally would have possibly four types of blockages. And we right now utilize our DABRA system, and our DABRA breaks down the plaque to its fundamental chemistry, such as proteins, lipids, and other chemical compounds, eliminating blockages by essentially dissolving them without generating potentially harmful particulates. Unlike many treatments, for peripheral arterial disease that damage the arterial wall, DABRA quickly and photochemically dissolves plaque with minimal vascular trauma. And this is, in fact, using some type of laser? It is using a 308 nanometer wavelength UVB light uh, laser. Mm -hmm. Uh, DABRA has been cleared by the FDA for crossing chronic total occlusions in patients with symptomatic interlingual lower extremity vascular disease and has an intended use for ablating a channel in occlusive peripheral vascular disease. In addition, say- DABRA was granted e mark for clearance September 2016 for endovascular treatment of interlingual arteries via atherectomy and for crossing total occlusions. You answered my question uh, as far as uh, its intended use and other uses uh, possible uh, down the road. Absolutely. Uh, One of the areas that we have found our product to be quite effective in Mm -hmm. is the treatment of people who have clogged stents. So instant instant restenosis, if you will. Um, Mm -hmm. The people out there who get stents, those stents generally clog over some period of time. And a lot of our competitors have mechanical devices, whirring burrs, whirring blades like propellers, if you will. And you obviously, those, those, those products are contraindicated uh, in stents. We are not contraindicated anywhere in the body. And we are able to basically go in and ablate and remove the material in the stent, clearing a channel so that the patient can re- have blood store restored. And the mechanical products are unable to do that. It would be similar to taking a propeller into a slinky 
you would not want to do that. Are these effective in severely clogged stents, or are we talking about stents, uh, stent maintenance, uh, for lack of a better term, even if there, if there is a thing uh, such as stent maintenance to uh, prevent severe <clears throat> blockage? Well, there, there is, there is um, the blockage, uh, basically, our CTOs for our clearance, our CTOs, those are our chronic total occlusions, and we have treated patients with no blood flow. So completely occluded. So the, the arteries are completely clogged. So uh, as far as going through a stent, for instance, uh, or, or ablating within a stent to remove blockage, uh, it would be the same for us as removing blockage in the artery, which is you'd want to stay interlumen, you'd want to stay basically in the center, and then basically um, clear the stent of the atheroma, fiber atheroma, clot, or calcium. Now, uh, at the outset, we, we talked about your product being used for vascular and skin diseases. Is the DABRA system um, also a part of uh, the Pharaoh the system? Are they one of the same, or are they interchangeable? Good how, question. how does that work? Very, very, very good question. Um, the the Pharos eczema laser is a – this is the one used for, for treating dermatological conditions. The Ferris Exumer laser is actually the same sort of, it was the first product to come out for us uh, over over a decade ago. And it is using the same sort of technology, if you will, but it's using it on the outside of the body. So the Ferros laser is a powerful 308 nanometer ultraviolet B Exumer laser, much like the 308 nanometer ultraviolet B laser, which we use with our dabber and vascular. But this laser is used by physicians as a tool to treat chronic skin diseases, as I mentioned before, including psoriasis, vitiligo, atopic dermatitis, and leukoderma. Pharos has FDA clearance to market Pharos in the United States for those skin conditions and a CE mark clearance for the use of that treatment for skin conditions, as well as market clearance in China and South Korea. Mm -hmm. What do you see next uh, as the the urgent project for Rob Medical as far as you know dermatological or vascular uh, diseases are concerned? That's the, the that is a, that is a very good question. You know, we, we, as I said earlier, we try and do the best we can to to help patients and to improve their lives. And one of the things that we have done very recently um, on the dermatology side, or the dermatological side is we launched our optimized dermatology eczema laser. Um, this next generation Pharos laser was designed to enhance physician and patient experience with faster treatments for psoriasis, vitiligo, and atopic dermatitis, as well as extended peak performance and a new ergonomic handpiece for the operator's comfort and greater treatment and site visibility. So what we're going to do with the derm side is make sure that as many derm docs know about this as possible and as many patients have a positive experience with this as possible and we have over a thousand of our um, ferros lasers on the market in 28 countries around the world so this has been a very good product for helping to enhance the quality of life of patients on the vascular side uh, we are going to um, continue to focus on our product, on product extensions or new indications, and to finalizing our strategy and really um, going out into the marketplace once we have some of the issues that we're working on with regard to manufacturing, et cetera, behind us. Jeffrey, we'd like to learn some more online. Where can we go? The best way, to, the best place to go is our website, which is rawmed.com. Dot com r a m e d dot com uh, and they can always reach out and reach me in the investor relations section great jeffrey thank you so much for joining us here on the program for this health supplier segment here on health professional radio been a pleasure Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio for this Health Supplier segment. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mr. Jeffrey Cross, president of Rob Medical. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.